So hello fellow English learners, how are you going today? This is Glenn, and today we're going to have a look at what minimum free forms are. And this was first um, formed by Leonard Blomfield, and in it he basically says that a single word can actually have meaning in itself. So you don't need any adjectives or verbs or any other type of word associated with it to add to its description. And the first we have is help. So if you're going somewhere, like you're at the beach, and someone is in the water far away, and they are waving their hands out of the water in the air, and they're saying, help. Help, 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 going ah. Uh. Sorry, I reverted to the Cantonese form of help, going ah. Uh. So, you're looking at that person and you know that that person is in danger. So, in dan in danger. Oh, it's a bit hard to write like this. Anyway, so that they are in danger, and that help, just that single word help, means that they need to be rescued. So, rescued, res, ah, oh, hope you can read that. So they need to be rescued, and it doesn't actually need anything else added to it. So, it doesn't need to be expressed as help, I need to get out of the water. Or help, I'm falling off a cliff. Or help, I need to have some extra money to put on my transportation card. So that's one form. Another one is pro-ante. So you can be pro-ante, okay, let's say communist. Communism, and this is not a political channel, so um, please don't say anything about pro anti communism. This is just uh, an example. So, you can ask someone a question, and all these are in response to questions. This one is not, this one can stand by itself without any questions asked. So you can ask them, are you pro or anti-communist? And they can either say pro means they are pro-communist or anti means they are anti-communist. So all you need to say is pro or anti. And that person will basically understand what you're actually saying. And the same with uh, non, if you are a smoker, okay, oops, so you're a smoker, and you're going somewhere, and that's sec like you're going to a restaurant, and that restaurant might have smoking and non-smoking sections, so, this basically is just the negative form that you can answer with. So, if they ask, would you like the smoking or non-smoking? You can either uh, answer non for non-smoker, or you can just say smoking. So, those are two words. So, you've got a verb, smoking, and non-smoking, which is uh, a, another type of response. And then we have nouns. So you can say, do you like, okay, uh, do you like cars or trucks? Okay, car or truck. God, that looks terrible. I've got a five-year-old riding. So you can ask the question, do you like cars or trucks? And they would either say, Cars or trucks? So for me, do I like cars or trucks? Cars. That's basically it. 
And then afterwards, if they go, oh, how come you like cars? Then you would actually go into an explanation. And the same with verbs as well. So you can ask another question. Do you like walking or running? Okay. Oh, so what's your favorite thing to do, walking or running? And you can either answer walking or running. And this could also be another one for yes and no. That's another form. So yes and no. So <clears throat> do you like running? It's either yes or no. So that's basically what a free minimum free form is. It's just a word or an answer that can actually contain one word and it can stand by itself. So that response tells the person who's asking the question what exactly you do or don't like. And anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. I'll probably upload more if people are more interested in English. And uh, leave a description down below of what you would like in English videos. So I can come up with more wide ranging ideas so you can actually learn your English better. Anyway, have an awesome English learning time. And just remember, these can apply to any language, okay? Not just English, any language. So if you're an English speaker and you're learning another language, this will apply to that language as well. So leave a comment down below of minimum free forms in your language as well, because that will be very interesting to do. Thank you and bye-bye.